In this reading of Unwind Your Mind Back to God by David Hofmeister, we continue reading from Chapter 2 of Book 1, Laying the Foundation. This is Section 6, What is the World? The world is false perception. It is born of error and it has not left its source. Workbook Part 2 David The world came about from the ridiculous belief that you could separate from your Creator. This conveys that ideas leave not their source. It seems as if the world has been projected out of our mind. It seems like there is really an objective world out there where there are plane crashes and hurricanes and people sick and dying. And there are continents and cultures and histories. And all of it seems concrete. It has been there long before mankind ever came. Carl Sagan would say, Billions and billions of years. This planet has been around long before there was human life or even evolution. These rocks and these geological formations have been around long before man. Jesus is saying, No, no, no. The world is a projection from your mind and it has not left its source. In other words, the world is still in your mind. The world is nothing more than a bunch of ideas in your mind. But the ego would say, Get out of here! No way! The world has left its source, and not only that, you have left your source. The Course says we were created as an idea in the mind of God. The ego says, you left. You were created as an idea in the mind of God, but you usurped God. You turned your back on God. You are out of the kingdom now. You have left your source. As I have had shifts of self-concepts, and as I started to go to step out of these beliefs, it has been more of an experiential sense that the world is in my mind. There is a big perceptual problem going on. The world is in your mind and all the perceptual things that seem to happen on the screen are just witnesses. You look first within your mind and you have all these dark, crazy beliefs that your father did, your, did not create. Then you feel weak and frail and tiny and guilty. Then you will call forth witnesses in the world that will represent I am weak, I am tiny, I am frail, I am little. Friend, we have forgotten what the kingdom is. We have forgotten what love is. And so to let go of all these things that we have made is very frightening. What do you have left? Just not knowing what is on the other side. David, the ego says if you let go all this familiar stuff in the world and even these beliefs that are the underpinnings of the world, then the ego says you will go into the void. 
That is the ego's version of going back to the light. But the Holy Spirit is saying, you will be everything. You will be exactly as you were created. You will be abstract light with no needs, no cares and no worries. Nothing but eternal peace so deep that you do not even have a glimmer of how deep it is. So you can see how there are two different versions of going within. Friend, oh yes, they are total opposites. David, the ego's belief is that all your security rests on meeting your survival needs. And then it goes on beyond that with, well, why not have joy in life and comfort? More comfort for the body, more pleasure for the body, etc. In a sense, that is worshipping death because letting go of the mind's identification with the world and the body is where the freedom and joy come in. You can see how this is a big turnaround. We have been seeking our happiness and salvation out on the screen in the specifics and that keeps covering our, over our deep sense of loss which really comes from the belief that we have separated from our Father in Heaven. Friend, so it is really that we are totally outside of ourselves and not really going within to find the joy, the happiness, the love and the peace. It is not in anything outside of us and we are using everything outside of us to find the joy, the happiness, the love and the peace. <laughs> David, and we are discovering, hey, this is not working. 